the term from the second sequence, but the indexes of the terms have to add to give us one. So it's going to be the coefficient of the x0 term times the coefficient of the x1 term here because the 0 and the 1 gives us 1. So it's going to be 1 times 2 plus it's going to be the coefficient of the x1 term times the coefficient of the x0 term because 1 plus 0 gives us 1. So that's going to be 1 times 1. Okay. Plus when it comes to the coefficient of the x squared term, this time we're going to have, we're going to have three terms. So don't forget the, 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 the product. It's going to be a term by a term, a term by a term, a term by a term, and a term by a term. Okay? And the terms are associated with the, with the coefficients of the power functions within the power series. And they, them coefficients, the indexes must add to give us two. So x0 times x2 here, okay, when we add the coefficients, we get, so when we add the, the indexes, we get two. So x0 times x2 coefficients are 1 times 3, so it's a 1 times a 3, plus the coefficient of the x1 term times the coefficient of the x of the x1 term here gives us a 2 when we add them. So it's going to be the, it's sorry, the index of the x1 term times the index of the x1 term here adds to give us 2. So we multiply other coefficients, which is 1 times 2, plus and the final one then is the x squared term times the x0 term, which is simply 1 times 1, so it's 1 times one okay and we can continue we could do the x cubed term let's just do the x cubed term okay this time it's going to have four terms but the the in the the the, the uh, let's say the exponents of the x's must add to give three so it's x zero times the x three so it's the coefficient so it's once times four so it's once times four plus it's going to be <clears throat> x one times x two because they add to give us to give us three, so it's a coefficient which is going to be once times three, plus the x squared times the x one term is going to be once times two. The coefficient is a one. The coefficient here is a two, and the x three times the x zero also gives us an x cubed. Okay, and that gives us a one coefficient of a one times a one. Okay, times a one. What do we end up with here? We end up with a power series that looks something like this. It's an x to the zero plus. Well, what we got here, we have. 2 plus 1 gives us 3, 3x1. Plus 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 1 gives us 6, 6x squared. Plus 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 2 is 9, plus 1 is 10. Okay? x cubed plus dot dot dot. Okay? So what does this represent? This represents the sequence 1, 3, 6, 10, dot dot dot. Okay? What is that? Okay? Well, this actual sequence, let's just see here, yeah, is when we look at the natural numbers, okay, the sequence of natural numbers, okay, and if we sum up, if we do a running summation of the, of, of the terms, so there's only one term here, okay, so its sum is one. If we sum the first two terms, we get three. If we sum the first three terms, we get six. If we sum the first four terms, we get 10. So actually what we've ended up with here is this, is that multiplying, and we'll see this again, multiplying a sequence by the constant sequence of ones is effectively the same as producing okay, the partial summations yeah, okay, of the terms in the sequence. Okay? So now that we have this sequence here, okay, what is its generating function? Well, it must be g1 of x, times the natural numbers generating function, okay? which must be, well, g1 of x is 1 over 1 minus x, which needs to be multiplied by the generating function of the natural numbers, which is 1 over 1 minus x squared, which gives us 1 over, okay, 1 over 1 minus x cubed is the generating function for this new sequence, which is the result of the product of two previous sequences. And what we can see here is this, is that this is the summation. When we multiply a sequence by the constant sequence, we seem to get a running summation okay, of the sequence. Let's try it again. Let's try one more. Okay? So let's take the constant sequence okay, and let's multiply it by, oh, well, let's, let's multiply it by this sequence here. Okay? So what I'm arguing is that what we should get out is we should get out two, as the first value, and then the sum of the next values, which is four, and then the sum of the next, which is six, and then the sum of the next, which is eight. So we should get two, four, six, eight. Oh, which is the same as 
the even numbers. So let's actually just do that. So let's consider another example. Let's consider the product of, okay? Let's consider the product of the sequence. So consider, we're gonna consider the product of the sequence, the constant sequence of ones, one, 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 dot, dot, dot. And we're gonna multiply that by the constant sequence of twos, two, 